Hey, hey Libra, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your September 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Libra, I'm getting a strong message right off the bat for you about fierce freedom. Deliverance is showing up here. Deliverance. So perhaps there's some sort of choice, messages, news that leads to deliverance or a breakthrough. Okay. You have the Empress. Here you are showing up. King of Swords in reverse. I feel like this is big energy. I'm hearing a song here. One moment. Okay. That goes with the fierce freedom energy. There's something that you are being freed from. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. The song that's coming to mind is, is Bishop Briggs. I believe the song is called River. And the lyrics are, Shut your mouth, baby, stand and deliver. Holy hand, will they make me a sinner? Okay, that is, that's deep. That's deliverance. There's something here about the sin. Like don't hate the, the sinner, hate the sin. Okay, or perhaps you are being rectified or you're breaking out of some sort of karma or there has been deliverance served here in some way. We have the king and the queen of swords. This is you, Libra in energy. We have the empress, major arcana for Libra. We have the king of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. You could be dealing with another air sign. We have the ace of truth. We have the three of swords, so another sword. I mean, this is big. And I feel like the message I'm getting with stand and deliver, it's like standing up for something, standing up for your rights, fighting for what you believe in, fighting for your integrity here. This is going to be a big breakthrough. Now, your key themes, you have milestone, family, breakthrough. Bottom of the deck, you also have career. So some of you, there is a huge milestone coming in regarding career, and you may have gone through a situation where you had to fight. Yeah, you may have had to fight for something, but it's paying off. Bottom of the deck, you have the three of cups, harmony, celebration. You also have milestones showing up, so there is potentially a promotion or an achievement or a reward showing up here for you, Libra. Now, we'll take a look at relationships, love, finances, career, and health in your monthly reading. But that message coming up right away was very powerful. And I am getting that nine of wands of spiritual strength, courage, determination, but yet using your brilliant mind to overcome some challenges or to work with some sort of breakthrough. And I feel like you are doing your due diligence. There's something here about maybe family. I'm getting contracts as well. Perhaps, yeah, maybe there's been a lot of sinners in your family or there's been a lot of sin. As I say that, we actually have the backstabbing showing up. This can be heartbreak and pain, deception, lies, shocking attacks. And Deliverance, I mean, I think that's a movie as well, isn't it? Deliverance, maybe some of you seen that or maybe that shows up for you and you're like, whoa. So that could be a sign that there is deliverance coming. There's some sort of breakthrough that is leading towards a massive shift in your world. Libra is what I'm getting here for you. All right, we have the Sustainer, the Sustainer. You could be breaking out of the box, breaking out of the mold. This is the archetype you are embracing this month. So let's dive into your reading now that all your cards are out. Stand and deliver. Milestone. You could be delivering some sort of pitch, okay? Or you are putting yourself out there in some way this month. I mean, we are nearing 
Libran season. We will head into Libran season at the end of September. So I feel like you're getting ready. There's preparation here to really hit a big goal milestone within you, or it could be external, it could be in your career. This is something big. I really get that energy with fierce freedom. I mean, even that combination of words together brings about something in your soul, doesn't it? There's just this feeling of, yes, liberation, or I'm ready to break out of this old paradigm, the old beliefs or a relationship or a job. And that's where you're headed here. This could be massive success for you, Libra. Uh, it's rewards, recognition, victory, and achievements. So I feel for some of you, this is the truth. The truth is showing up. Important communication between you and another, some sort of I'm getting victory settlement. Okay, someone could have a settlement coming in or perhaps you've worked with HR. And I feel whoever this King of Swords is, if we're looking at it from a reversal standpoint, which is showing up as misuse of power, it's as if someone may have been very egoic, egoic, uh, maybe very rigid, very stubborn. Think Think of someone in a position of power, such as, you know, a military leader or a police officer or someone who has the power to do good, but they use it for evil, right? The sinner uh, or the sin in itself. So I feel like someone was misusing their power and you got caught up in this loop, in this spiral, in this relationship, in this dynamic. And there's a, a stand and deliver. You are the justice scales. You are the bringer potentially of karma in a way where people come up against your energy at times. And it's so interesting because you Libra are all about harmony and balance and equilibrium. But at the same time, it's like, do me wrong, shame on you. And you may be the catalyst for people stepping into their own karma. And not saying that you haven't done that yourself, but I feel like there's been challenges with people around you and you may see shifts happening because of what you've come up against. Okay. I hope that makes sense. I feel like you, that's the stand and deliver, like taking a stance. It reminds me actually of a movie I just seen. I just went and watched uh, Twisters, the movie in theaters. And in the midst of the tornado, he has a vehicle that drills into the ground, right? Like the whole, the whole vehicle drills into the ground to hold him in the midst of a tornado. I mean, is is that really a thing? Probably not, but I feel like the same message is coming in that no matter what goes on around you, Libra, that you have this divine protection to stand and come out standing, right? Come out standing. So there is a, a shift here happening where you may be seeing the destruction all around you. It's like the eye of the tornado, but I feel like you do come out standing. And even though everything else is destroyed potentially around it. Now you also have family. This is ancestral healing. It's legacy, inheritance. This may be about your stability, your root chakra, okay? Your foundation potentially around parents. Fertility here infertility, fertility treatments. I am getting the choices around bringing life into the world, okay? Or the choices around how you want to bring up family, raise family, or even break against the sin or the, the sinners. It's like you yourself have chose to go a path that may be a bit different than those that can come before you, right? And I feel like you chose to embark upon this journey of, you know, maybe going off to college or leaving your hometown or home state or country. You may have broke away from the corporate world and went off on your own. I feel like you are a trailblazer and this breakthrough energy 
It is you doing something that other people told you you should be doing and you're like, "Uh uh-uh, you know, I'm going to go off on my own and if that makes me a sinner, then I'm going to shake your hand as well because we all are sinners in some way, shape or form, right? Holy hand, will they make me a sinner? So it almost feels like other people have downgraded you, diminished you, admonished you or criticized you in some way, shape, or form. And that may be what you're standing up against, Libra. And you're saying, "Uh uh-uh, this is a major realization in your life of discovery and victory, advancement. I feel like this is soul advancement. There is a moment of truth coming in. And that's why we have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is the Ace of Truth. It's the gift of truth. And the truth shall set you free. But sometimes we don't want to hear the truth, right? Sometimes the truth can be very challenging, very difficult, but that is also the very thing that can be the catalyst to launching us into a new direction. And we actually have the diamond on the ace of swords here. How are diamonds formed? In darkness and under pressure. And I feel like this diamond, it's it's this opportunity that is very bright coming from some sort of epiphany. Yeah, there is some sort of breakthrough. This can be an aha moment or a light bulb moment that shows up. Maybe you're in the shower and all of a sudden you have this brilliant idea and you're like, why didn't I think of that? Or there is a deep understanding why something happened the way it did or the role that someone had played in your life or maybe the role that you played out. I feel like there is an understanding that leads to awareness. And maybe that awareness is part of the Ace of Swords. It allows you to come up with some sort of action plan and to cut through limitations. Now, we have at the bottom of the deck, we have career and we have choices. So this may be about advancement. Some of you are contemplating a job change. You may be turning a side hustle into a lucrative business. You also have hobby here. And that's why I pulled the third. I always pull the the bottom three because this is stuff you're bringing to the surface. But I feel like a choice needs to be made. Decision making process here. And once you have a bit more clarity, which I see it coming for you. And there's this wake up call with the hanged man, you're going to make a choice that's in your higher good. And I feel like it's, it's for the good of all right? It is for the good of all. So seeing something from a win-win situation. Now, other people may not see it from that perspective, but we, we each have a perspective and it's not up to us to shift, maneuver, or change other people's. We can't do that anyway. I mean, every single person is going to have a different perspective. And I feel like this actually is a win-win in some way, shape, or form, but you are the one that brings the justice. Okay, you're the one that's standing through it all is what I see, Libra. Now, starting off, we have the Empress. This is creative energy. It is abundance, maternal. It's all about nurturing your garden, whatever it is that you've been growing in your garden. And I'm getting like Garden of Eden. Now, that's so interesting because we have that sinner showing up. So maybe some of you... This may have a tad bit of religious undertones, okay? Now, I'm not religious, but maybe some of you grew up religious, and I feel like there is a picking of the apple, right? Or there's something here you were taught or told, don't do that. Don't, you know, don't pick that apple. Don't go for that. You're going to fail, or that's going to you know, shatter everything. But what it really is doing is shattering the illusion of perfection, shattering the illusion of, you know, perfect harmony. And that's part of you being a Libra, right? I'm a Libra as well, is not having to perfectionize everything or to break out of some sort of cycle of expectations or the illusion of everything being great on the outside, but digging underneath it. And I feel like the 
the mother nature, the empress energy here is saying, okay, it's time to weed the garden. It is time to really take hold of some of those beliefs of what everyone else told you and think for yourself. Yeah, think for yourself. If this king of swords is not someone in your life, Libra, this is your divine masculine and feminine showing up. This is your yin yang energy. Some of you may have had high masculine energy, which sometimes led to anger, sometimes may have led to aggression or control because you may have felt out of control and that was a need to kind of over dominate things at times. People may have even said to you that you intimidate them in some way, shape or form. Now, if this is your energy, you may be bringing more balance. You may want to get testosterone checked as well. I mean, female, female or male, it's, um, it's take it as it resonates. We have both in our, in our energy, but you actually have the word perfection itself on this queen of swords. So I feel like the mind here, the power of the mind is used to build or destroy. And I feel like you're actually destroying old structures of, you know, maybe traditions or beliefs or what other people told you, societal standards, things of that nature. And I feel like you're saying, call me a sinner. I'm going to pick that apple, right? And I'm going to do something for myself. And if it makes me selfish, so be it. But this is what I need to learn. And I, I don't want to sit here in some sort of illusion and everything is airy fairy. And maybe that's where you've been. But I see because of this breakthrough. And now I'm not saying it was airy fairy for you, Libra. I feel like for a lot of you, it was quite stressful. You've been in some sort of awakening period. But I feel like there was a lot going on that maybe you didn't see or it could have been buried deep into the subconscious and that's why these things are coming up here and because they're coming up you have the choice you have the free will to take a different approach or to take a different path and you see the two paths laid out and one looks like it's heading straight towards the sun so i feel like there is happiness around the corner abundance here around the corner but it requires you to consciously choose a healthier option or to break away from a cycle that you'd been conditioned to believe was in your best interest but it really was not okay and that's what's going to bring you happiness is saying i'm doing this for me i'm not people pleasing i'm not saying yes when i mean no or no when i when i mean yes you know i'm not going to hold back my power and this is about you finding balance now for those of you that were dealing with this king of swords i feel like the king of swords was very much detached uh, emotionally they were very hardened okay and they may have they may have thought they had the answers, but they may have mistaken, right? They may have mistaken and they will be humbled or there will be an opportunity for them to make choices of healing and growth and evolution as well. It's not our job to force anyone to see that path and that can be difficult especially if this is a child or if this is a partner right an adult child or someone that we care about and even though in this situation these two think more logically they can be better partners business partners or friends uh, they don't always make the best lovers especially when one when one is in reverse because there's miscommunication and there's always a power play or a power struggle between these two so they could work together effectively if they were both on the same page, open-mindedness and use their thoughts and their mind and their intellect to build, but someone self-sabotages or destroys. And that's what we're getting clear about. And now there's an understanding of the balance between these two polarities or between these two dynamics. And you're waking up. You have the hanged man here showing up and this is a release of control release of you know the belief around something that has been controlling you and maybe you thought you were controlling it but really it had its grips on you in some way shape or form and now what i see 
with your outcome, King of Wands and Knight of Cups. There's action here. And not only are you keeping that brilliant, logical mind to, you know, bringing it to a place of rebuilding, I feel like you're keeping your heart open along the way. And it's between the head and the heart that we find that balance, Libra. And you're stepping into integrity. This is about you not compromising your integrity, you standing and delivering, right? Deliverance and you being able to do what you need to do. And it, it's mustering up the courage, the strength, the determination, the stamina, everything I mentioned with that nine of, of wands, because the king of wands, he doesn't get to the king of wands without going through, you know, the nine. And I feel like this is having that push, that determination, that persistence to not give up because what's on the other side of this is really, really beautiful. Okay, so I'm actually going to pull one more tarot card, one more, because I want to see these choices here. And what do we need to know about them? Okay, that's what I thought. That's why I just wanted to clarify the choice to follow the sun, follow the light, whatever that may be for you. You're going to know. I mean, you're a spiritual being. You have strong intuition. You're going to know when this clarity comes through. That light bulb moment, that aha moment, that's going to give you deep insight into the choice, the path, or the deliverance, or even a deliverance of a message. And it's leading to your nine of cups. Nine of cups is wish fulfillment, right? It's emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. It's basically having your cake and eating it too. And I know that gets such a bad rap, but if we can look at it from, again, a different perspective of... Well, why can't I have my cake and eat my cake? Because I've worked hard for that darn cake. It doesn't mean I have to indulge in the whole thing. There's plenty to share. There's plenty to go around. So it's all about perception. And the nine of cups is all about feeling good, feeling happiness, success, achievement, and completion. It's another nine. Now, it's not the nine of wands that I was picking up on because I feel like you are getting the gift of going through the nine of the wands, uh, nine of wands, and this is the nine of cups. So beautiful confirmation of what's around the corner here, Libra. Let's look at your career, finances, money, and wealth. I'm going to look at health here as well. Okay. Some of you, there has been an issue around infertility, around the sacral chakra, the solar plexus. The sacral is two inches below the navel, can be the reproductive system, it can be the sex organs of male or female, it can be hysterectomy, ovary, cyst, it can even lead to that lower back, mid to lower back, it can also be digestion, gut health, acid reflux, it can be kidneys, it can be liver, and I feel like there's some issues uh, around one or both of these chakras, maybe even I'm getting down to the root even. So perhaps this has to do with the bladder or intestines or colon. Of course, please seek medical professional guidance if need be. But you may be taking a look at your gut health. You may be taking a look at your vision. Okay, I'm getting eyes showing up with the diamonds. Some of you have light sensitivity. I am getting fertility or infertility. Could be the head with the hanged man energy. Pay attention to, again, bright lights or getting your eyes checked, your ears checked. What else do we have? And also, when it comes to food and maybe weight, just because even though the Nine of Cups is showing up as a great energy in your reading, some of you are trying to cut back perhaps on the sweets or the sugars. That's coming up here. And what else do we have for health, spirit, health? Uh, I feel like it's mental health you may be looking at with the swords, the amount of swords that I see. So getting back into a state of, you know, solid ground, solid footing, right? It's about you hitting a milestone that maybe it's been a long time coming, but I feel like it's here. Now, what do we have for finances? We have the student and it says, work with a mentor to learn new skills or teach you how to implement your plan. So you may be working with someone who is very pivotal, very powerful on your journey. Could be a divine feminine, 
okay? Uh, it could be someone who is a teacher with this Queen of Swords. It may even be another Libra or another air sign. I also see with this uh, Hanged Man energy, this can be Pisces. I'm also getting... I'm also getting for some of you, yep, Taurus. I was going to say Taurus. I see it here, but it's with that uh, Empress. Now it says you could be in school to pursue higher education or work for a school district. Now September is known for the back to school month. You could be enrolling your children, getting a degree or making a choice here to go back to school. For some of you with the milestones, this is a higher education or taking some sort of learning and applying it to your career. You may even be making a choice around education, learning, or putting yourself out there in some way. Teach yourself to succeed with money or get a financial advisor to teach you. We have the past. Something from the past is coming back, perhaps an old job or an unfinished business or unfinished project, excuse me. Uh, it says, look to the past to understand the future, a lesson, an experience, or an old skill. It's interesting because I see the Queen of Swords here looking back, and she's looking back at the Empress. And the Empress is what grows in that garden, right? What is she creating? And I feel like she's looking back saying, okay, what is ready for the picking? What do I need to weed out? And she's using, you know, her mind and what she's learned about gardens, right? What she's learned. And I feel like once you weed out the garden, you're able to see what needs to be picked, what needs to be pruned, what needs to be, you know, watered or spaced out. I feel like it's going to give you more clarity by you looking at something here of the past. And it says you could be earning or receiving money from something you did in the past here, Libra. There could even be an offer coming in. Maybe you've applied for that position a few weeks back or a few months back, and it may come back around for you. We have the office. Delegating more can help you increase your earnings. So maybe this has to do with hiring help, okay, or hiring someone who can help you. I'm getting have more eyes have more eyes on a project. Maybe that's part of the hanged man. Uh, this can be someone who can help you see from many different angles as the diamond sparkles, no matter what angle it's hit at. And I feel like you may be, you may be thinking of the greater good, right? Thinking of the greater good. You may be a secretary, a staff assistant, office manager, or you work in an office environment in some way, shape, or form. And if you're dealing with a power struggle or a power play, there is going to be some sort of communication that activates the stuckness, right? Activates it. And even if it causes a bit of a turmoil or a bit of a tornado, stand and deliver. Do what you need to do. I feel like there will be fairness for all, or there will be some sort of positive outcome, especially for you, but the greater good of all is what I'm getting. Now we have science. Keep an open mind. Something is unfolding for you, Libra. Chemists, forensics, biochemists, or anything in the field of science. Some of you could even be watching television shows about science, maybe Grey's Anatomy, or this may have to do with you know, murder mystery or documentations around, you know, foods and exploring the inner workings of the mind even. I feel like you're very bright, you're very intelligent and you have some ideas and you may be looking into them, right? Applying a scientific approach to your business or financial problems. And I'm getting that all over your reading with so many swords showing up. This is intellect. This is thought. It's the power of the mind. And you are overcoming obstacles by applying that scientific approach to business or finance this month. This is looking good. It's looking better. You know, you don't have... You don't have very many challenging cards, Libra, but I am getting with that King of Swords in reverse. That was a challenge that did keep you stuck in some way, shape, or form. Whoever that was for you could be a, a masculine energy or a female who, who carried a lot of that masculine energy of violence, anger, or, you know, hot-headedness. She may have, you know, blown off the handle in some way, shape, or form, or just been very 
hard to talk to. Now let's look at love, relationships, connections, partnering. I see that whatever you felt stuck in, it may have been due to someone backstabbing you. It may have been due to some sort of heartbreak that you've gone through, pain, separation, and loss. This can be deceptions. It can be lies. It's, it's the sin, right? It's the sin. And I feel like there may have even been a shocking attack here to your body, to your mind, to your heart. And it left you feeling very much confused and in a state of maybe mental imbalance. And I see that you've worked very hard on that or that's what you're, you've been kind of sitting in for quite some time is the why, the how, the what can I do better, what can I learn? Because Libra, you're always asking questions. You want to dig into things. You are like this scientist, right? And I feel like you've done that here and now you are rebuilding. You have the hammer. You have the hammer and the, the nails and it's interesting because it's actually, he's holding a ring. He's holding a ring with the tweezers and it's, it's like he's remolding some sort of ring together. And the ring represents commitments. This may be a commitment that you have with yourself. I'm also getting a, a ring, like quite literally, a ring that you wear or maybe a ring that you did wear was significant in some way. Maybe you were proposed to or there was an engagement maybe you were married maybe some of you just watched lord of the rings <laughs> but i feel like this is about repairing okay persistence we have rebuilding sabotage nine of wands is about continuing to move forward and not sabotage and even if something comes up you're going to try to rebuild the energy so you know, because now you know better. And once you know better, you do better, Libra. And I feel like you are repairing something. And now it's bringing about a sense of, well, it says partying and seduction. This is maybe being happily single, okay? It could be having some fun, spending time with friends, living in the moment. If you are in a relationship, I feel like, you're wanting to rebuild this relationship because there has been an imbalance, but with a little bit of love here with the Empress, a little bit of nurturing, tender love and care, TLC, I feel through truth and through communication, there can be a massive wake up call that does lead to, you know, an opening of the heart. But for a lot of you, you may be happily single and you may be just spending time with friends and traveling and, you know, living in the moment. But I see you're highly attractive here, Libra. This is, you know, maybe going on dates. It could be things and people that tempt you. I mean, it's the seduction energy. So again, maybe some of you are feeling, feeling like you want to commit a sin, Libra. So last but not least, we have the sustainer, the sustainer. And this looks like he's shaping some sort of a ball in his hands with the sustainer. And I feel, especially with that religious message around, you know, the Adam and Eve or the grabbing of the apple, I feel like you are aren't going to be tamed, even if that means people look at you as, as a sinner in some way, maybe you haven't even committed a sin, right? But I feel like you don't, you don't care. You're like, I, I don't care because I know what's true for me and I know what is best for me. All right, let's take a look at the sinner. What do we have? Or <laughs> the sinner. Let's look at the sustainer. What do we have for Libra? It's interesting because I actually came across, there is an archetype of the river, Libra. And I'm just going to find this for you here. One moment. All right, Libra, we have the sustainer, meaning the peacemaker, the upholder, the preserver, the sustainer, the second archetype in the trio of existence works behind the scenes, tending to the tasks of life. They cultivate gardens. Oh my gosh, we talk about the empress and the garden analogy during your reading, right? They cultivate gardens, pay bills, keep the meals warm and the mouth sweetly fed. The sustainer is at peace in the process of life, knowing there is no start or finish to humble yet meaningful tasks. 
They have a natural inclination to nourish others, to archive, to preserve, to, to preserve the earth's resources, to consider environmental impact, and to see their role in the divine cycle of life. It's common for the sustainer to become overworked, leading to resentment. Their tasks aren't glamorous, and therefore, the sustainer rarely receives the credit or attention. The sustainer longs to hold things in place so badly, especially relationships, that they resist necessary change. Take time with this archetype. It is within us all and needs our love. Wow. Moral of this archetype, again, is not fitting in a box, not enabling, not hanging on to that expectation of perfectionism or, you know, upholding the good girl act or the good boy act or, you know, and it's not saying that you have to go around disrespecting or being a rebel. I say if you're going to be a, a rebel, be a rebel with the cause, but that may be a part of, you know, maybe wanting wanting to sin in a way. This is abundance. It's generosity. It's support. It's reliability. When it's the dark energy of the king of swords in reverse, it's overworked, resentful, trapped, and tired. Contemplate what truly sustains you. Make a list, Libra. If you're a list maker like I am, make a list of what sustains you. Notice how simple yet powerful those things are and spend some time tending to them. Take note of the difference between maintaining and sustaining. Which action describes your life more accurately? I'm going to say that again. Maintaining or sustaining. There's a difference. And if you want to go deeper, Libra, take a look at Lakshmi, Vishnu, or Demeter. They can help you break out of the cycles of what you feel, you know, that you are sustaining or again, maintaining. So that is what I have for you. This was a very deep, I feel like I haven't felt this amount of fierceness in your energy for quite some time. And you may have that extra boost of strength as we enter Libra season and you have everything within you to pivot, to redirect and to accomplish whatever it is that you've set out to accomplish here on earth, Libra. That is what I have for you, beautiful souls. Thank you so much for tuning in. If the reading resonates, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Lots of love.